Hello, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash building video. I'm finally getting to the bottom of this. I've been experimenting with the same effect for three or four videos now, and now it's time to finally put everything I've learned to the test and make a usable background, which is gonna prove to be quite a challenge, but I think I know what I'm doing at this point. We're placing the trigger straight away, just to make sure everything that's above B5 does not get affected, so my player is all good. Here goes, subscribe if you enjoy. We're gonna make sure this background is not bright yellow. We're gonna go for a neon look with this. No line, no ground, no middle ground with a big background. There's gonna use the grayscale effect. It's turned up to 9999, okay. Let's choose our object. I've given a very careful thought. I think the bobble is going to be the goat. So we have to warp this up very large just to cover the screen. Let's give that a group to start off with. Also lower it to B5. Let me show you why. If I didn't have blending turned on, for example, this is the only way that I would be able to use the opacity. It would just go here and then completely drop off. When I add blending to it, and just add both of the sliders near the bottom, but not quite. I get a little bit of extra control here, which is gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, so we can start it off with a few pixels and then raise it up to here. We're gonna change the hue of this, of course, to something that looks a bit cooler. So let's just start it off right over here, where there's just a few dots. That is 0.13 opacity. And if I raise it again, just by reselecting it, going up to the point where I want it, I think right about yeah, would look good. That's a 0.18. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it on 0.13. We're gonna copy this color and we're gonna place down our color channel at the very beginning of the level, just like this. It's on color channel one, so that's good. We're gonna paste the color in here, blend it. We're gonna put a fade time of one second and we're gonna go to that 0.18. So as we play, we will see this circle will slowly just start to appear. I can show you even more clearly if I just place down a locking movement. Just like that. We have to rotate this too. So let's just go rotate one. We'll go 20 seconds, easing out, and we're gonna give it like a four rotation. So this is just gonna go around in a circle, just little by little, and it's gonna speed up as it goes on. And we need to make sure that this color channel has some sort of loop. So right before it ends, I'm going to place another one, putting it back down to 0.13. And then I'm going to create a loop with these two triggers, just like this. So now as we're playing, we have this pulsing effect with the circle that is going around us, just like that. And this is looking strange, right? But I'm hoping we can do some interesting stuff. With it. Let's copy paste this object and we can warp it down just a little bit so we can still see the outline around it. It's going to be group number two. Then we have to duplicate this color channel because we're gonna make multiple sets of these right so we're just gonna paste that in there and put it all the way down to 0.13 just like that now that means that we need to copy both of these triggers and put them on number two which is pretty simple and then we have to do it with the color channel as well which is gonna be quite annoying Let's start this a block later and we can just put that for number two loop it again so this is gonna start doing the color thing a block later the rotation should be faster as well, and that's gonna be the pattern that we're gonna follow. Uh, I should have probably put an actual value instead of just four times 360. If I put 1440, which is four times 360, yeah. My next trigger can be like minus 60 or something, so it's 1380. And then that's gonna rotate slightly less. So then we're gonna have like a cool effect. Eventually, when this is all done, I think these should start off as black blending. That's gonna be a lot easier for me to control. If I keep them on full opacity at the start, you can see it gets really messy at the start. I should drop it down to zero. So it's zero opacity plus zero opacity. So then it has a much smoother entrance here. Yeah, so it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but we can work on it. I can't tell what I'm doing unless I turn off preview mode. Oh god, it affects preview mode? Turn off shaders? Uh, yeah, sure, we can work with this. God, it's not evenly spaced. Oh, I'm just gonna go down to 10 because I don't want the middle to get like too clustered at all. So we have 10 groups, 10 colors. We have to make sure everything is black blending, zero opacity. Instead of making multiple color loops, I can just make one color loop with all 10 of the colors in. I do believe, I could be mistaken, but hey. Uh, the movement can also just be pinned down. Instead of being for every single group, it just needs to be 11, which I can apply to all of these. That's a nice little way to save time. Then all the rotations just have to minus 60 for one another. So it's actually not gonna take me too long to set this up. I thought this was gonna take a lot longer. Okay, here is the moment of truth. We're about to see if what we just made makes sense. Uh, okay, it's something. I'm not huge. Oh, it makes a nice spiral. 
But then why wouldn't you just use a particle trigger for this? Okay, so we're gonna go around the color wheel. This starts off at blue. We're just gonna try and do it in like 10 even splits. Um, it looks strange. Definitely, it definitely looks strange. I think if I copy paste, flip it around that way and then make it bigger, we can add another lower opacity version on top. If I go group number 31 there, I probably should have linked that together just to make sure I can come back to it, but hey. Oh god, I've ruined it! <laughs> I've ruined it! This looks so weird. We now have these bubbles, we can just copy paste, rotate them this way, and then probably scale up even more like this. Or should I have, maybe I should have scaled down. That would have made more sense, but this is looking nice and colorful. Okay, can I center it on the player though? That, that's a good question. If I just put it like right in here and make 11 lock to the X and Y. The Y can maybe have a bit of resistance on it so it doesn't completely lock with me. Yes, yeah, so I can kind of outpace it. If I fly up, it takes a little second to catch up. This looks interesting. I'm down. Let's select all of these again. We can 45 degree rotate this and scale up a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make sure this is locked please. And then maybe also scale down. Um, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it looks kind of cool, no? I think shaders can save this. They're placed under the player, so maybe I can bulge. No. Yeah, it's all gone. Nice! Okay, making a new version of it. This is gonna be 0.2 seconds, and then we're gonna have a version afterwards that is gonna be obviously the 0.18. But I think per layer, I'm just gonna start going through like red and then like magenta. I had to follow my own, like, building video to get to this point, which is quite funny. There we go. Oh, this is looking smoother. Okay, so what I did is I made it so that the loop was shorter, but I had, like, 0.25 second fade in. So it never really stops fading. It always just kind of runs through, and the fades are just generally faster. I've got to lock this to the X and Y the same way I did before, with that same 0 0.8, 0 0.9 type thing on the Y, just so I can kind of zoom around and it doesn't exactly follow. Now I'm going to do another warped version. Let's just flip that around. I'm going to do another rotation on editor line number three. Yeah, 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 like this. Whoosh. Okay, this is looking very... Very nice. It looks a lot better than it did before. So I wanted to do another 45 degree rotation that was slightly smaller. Maybe it's got to be like a lot smaller. It's just, it's not quite right. I think with this layer, what I can do is give it group 16 and then start a scaling effect for 16. So target 16, duration can be like two seconds, easing out. This could be like a 1.6, a 1.2. Two. No, that's quite small. We want it to be a bit bigger. Yeah! No, don't divide first. We make it bigger first, and then we divide afterwards. Just right before that ends, we'll do it right there, and then we can loop these like so. So now there's gonna be a layer in the center that's getting bigger and smaller. Wait, this looks sick! Hold on, I forgot to divide the second one. Kinda goofy of me, one sec. There we go! This is looking very neat. I dig it! Oh my god, this looks so cool. Holy crap. And then I'm gonna just slap on some kind of blurring effect, uh, radial blur. It looks so good, man. I really like it. I actually really like it. What else can I add to this just for like a final touch? I think I was trying to do a bulge earlier when my game crashed, so. Give it like a 1.25, 10 second fade time as usual. I just like putting the 10 second fade time just so I can see like different versions of it. But this should look pretty interesting here. That's just stretching it a lot and taking it off of my player, which is kind of annoying. Whoa! Oh my god! What? <laughs> Holy crap, this is sick! Can I not- wait, target. Group ID. Yes, 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 yes. We just put an object right here that is on group number 11 as well, hidden. But this is going to be our unique number 19 that's going to follow. So the bulge is going to go around this point instead, which should look pretty epic because it's going to just stretch all of this out. Or do we want to pinch? No, because the bulge makes it too big. Modifier, like a hundred times. Fade time, 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! Could always shockwave this, I guess. Target around 19, yeah. And strength can be like four times. Okay. Whoa! Okay. That was nuts. The speed needs to be nerfed, like, big time. Okay, this is what I ended up with. This is like a 0.4 speed shockwave. But look how cool this thing looks! Look at it! It's so sick! Dude, I love, like, the watercolor, like, leaky paint style this thing is in. It looks so good with the shockwave and everything. That looks so good. Holy crap!
I knew I could use it for some sort of background. Thank you so much for watching this Geometry Dash video. That's supposed to say real. <sighs> Let me know in the comments what you want me to try out. I'll try and make that into some sort of level or that, that kind of idea. But I love making effects like that. It's so fun. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe. And have a good day.